President, Mr. Speaker, members of the Senate and of the House of Representatives, yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. Right now, I feel as if I would like to teach, but I know I would be damn choosy about a position. There's a lot I want out of life yet, if I live through this. That too is something to consider. What will be my mores when I get back from overseas? That changes a person, you know. Bill Harrell to Nancy Thompson, December 5th, 1944. I hope you realize what deeply rooted and numbed emotions the servicemen's news reawakens. I don't take this paper casually for granted. To me, it is important because it brings back into perspective things, places, people, smells, atmospheres, the image of what seems so long ago and sometimes even never. To have this whole flavor here, now, makes order out of chaos, gives meaning to the daily detailed small part we individually play, the perfect counterpoint of yesterday. Bill Schwartz to Nancy Thompson, April 8, 1945. The world is at last beginning to realize that through education and understanding can man hope to settle his problems. We as educators shoulder that tremendous responsibility today and it is our duty to foster and develop that understanding within the present generation for that is what those who gave and never came back expect of us. Bill Schwartz to Nancy Thompson. February 2nd, 1946. As the Newark State Teachers College Librarian during World War II, Nancy Thompson preserved over 800 letters from students serving in the war and noted in her scrapbook is the story of the war itself and how these men and women came back to our country's children to teach the meaning of freedom. As the hub of a communications network that foreshadowed modern social media, this project consisting of transcriptions, digital preservation, and analysis of the scrapbook reveals how the local community was changed by a global event. By mapping this network 70 years later, we recapture the movements of hundreds of people and ideas across the country and around the globe. With the sun setting on the greatest generation, this project proudly shares their stories for posterity, but more importantly demonstrates how World War II changed American society. We follow these men and women as they take part in the greatest mass mobilization in American history, from their initial processing at Fort Dix and everywhere between Tokyo and Berlin. The project bears witness to the raw emotions of a generation at war, ranging from the mundane to the momentous. And in telling their hundreds of personal stories, the letters collectively reveal these servicemen and women wrestling with conflicting values of religious freedom, gender roles, race relations, and other socially sensitive topics. While much has been written on World War II history, Nancy Thompson's scrapbook is one of the last untold stories of the war.